In a particular online role playing game, a player's character and avatar has a certain number of health points indicating amount of damage avatar can receive before being incapacitated. On a particular date, single scan of every avatar's health points indicated that median number of health points was 742. We don't know how many avatars were scanned, but we know that the median was 742. Okay. Assuming that this information is accurate, select for must have been true this first column, the statement that must Must have been true with respect to this scan, and you also select the one which must have been false. So there is no could be true, could be false. You want to find the statement that must be true, must be false based on this information. Okay, let's just first really understand what this median thing gives us. So seven forty two is here in the middle. Now there are two possibilities. One, if this entire list you know all of the number of avatars was an odd number in that case median is a value which is from the set itself right which means the remaining values are not exact halves because you've taken out one value from the set right so both of these have less than half of all of the values both of these sections while if you have an even number of total avatars then this median that we are talking about is not a value from the set because you get it by finding the average of the middle two which means exactly half of all of the values are on the left and exactly half of all of the values all of the you know the number of avatars are on the right of 742 this is what we know now based on this analysis let's read one statement at a time and analyze it first one less than half of all of them had greater than 750 points So we'll try to see 750 is here, and they're saying that on the right of 750 there will be less than half of all of them. So if I think about this case by case, according to the first case, less than half is on the right of 742. So there have to be less than half on the right of 750. That means my first statement, if I look at it, my first statement must be true according to case one. But the first statement according to case two will be what now? So let's see. This is where your 750 is right now if exactly half are in all of this place 750 and beyond that could still be exactly half you know there could be avatars that have these values or that do not have these values between 740 and 750 that will decide what actually happens to the number so it is a could be true statement and since overall in both cases combined it's neither must be true nor must be false this statement will not be chosen for any of the two columns now we repeat this analysis for the second statement if If you found the analysis of this data set helpful then hit that like button so that other gmat aspirants can also learn from it and to stay tuned with such content hit the subscribe button below now to take your learning to the next level we have put together a free trial in which you can experience content in all the sections tested on gmat focus edition for example you can build your cr pre thinking skills you can learn how to approach statistics questions in graphics interpretation as part of di you can learn everything about linear inequalities as tested on the gmat focus edition and a lot of other content the link for this is in the description now let's get back to the question at hand it says more than half of all of the avatars had greater than 750 health points more than half well whether i look at it here in the first case it has to be less than half or i look at it in the second case it still has to be less than half or equal to half but it can never be greater than half because it's a part of the right side which is at most half right that means this statement must be false and since i already have the must be false answer the other statements that i analyze i'll only analyze them for must be true or not let's look at statement 3 this is scan indicated that mean of all the avatars was 750 mean of the points we have no information about the mean so this is not a must be true statement this is out let's read the next one also we will reject the must be true case for the second statement because it must be false At this point let me ask you this could you have arrived at the approach of solving this question with this level of clarity had you not spent the effort in thoroughly understanding the information presented such is the power of the process of owning the data set and because this skill may not come naturally to many of you we have created a course architecture that ensures that we teach you this skill through every guided quiz in the egmat di course and we reinforce the same in every practice quiz In fact, in the TPA quant modules in the two-part analysis course, we teach you how to get comfortable with this question type. You will gain the confidence to handle any question of this type in the most efficient manner. 
We serve more than 58 specially curated questions at the right progression so that you can learn various aspects of this question type, including the process skills of inference, translate and visualize. Thus, throughout the DI course, through around 500 questions, you will learn such process skills so that you can also comfortably use the owning the data set approach. Let's now get back to the solution at hand. Okay, now fourth statement says no more than one avatar had exactly 742 health points. So 742, which is the median value, it is saying that less than equal to one avatar will actually have this value. That's not a must be true statement. I can have exactly one with this health point score or I can have none of those or I can have two of those. There is actually no restriction on that. So this need not be true. That actually already leaves us with the last statement as must be true, but we'll still read it. If no avatar had exactly 742 health points, you know when that will happen, right? That will happen if you're in the even case, because that is the case you're taking the average of the middle two. Otherwise, if it's odd number, then 742 has to be the one of the values which becomes the median. This then tells me I have an even number number of total avatars. Okay, let's read further. Then the number of avatars that had more than 742 health points was equal to the number that had fewer than 742. This is exactly true based on this little sketch that I drew. We wrote that it's equal to half, equal to half for both. So if both of them are half, they are definitely equal. And that is it.